we're heading out to the famous historical city of Gaul. It's around the one hour train ride from here. So uh. To go? Okay. Well, well, well. Come back to Sri Lanka, guys. So we are here right now at the train station in a pretty beautiful beach town of Veli Gama. Fairly busy, fairly touristy, but I've had a really nice week here. Depending on when this video will come out, there will be a full video about it. So right now, in the back, what you're seeing there is the train station. We're heading out to the famous historical city of Gaul. It's around the one hour train ride from here. Bought the ticket here for 150 rupees, which is 50 cents. And this should get us there. So let's see, I'll take you along on the city. We're gonna be staying at a very interesting hotel as well. Okay, so there it says it, Veli Gamma train station. That's where we are right now. And for some reason, it seems like the people that are operating this train station they are into their guppies funny 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 so guys just got ourselves a ticket train heading to the hotel right now and I think it's gonna be good so we're right now in the parking lot I think of one of the most famous spots in the whole country more or less the hotel should be a five minute walk from here oh yeah it's already very interesting well here we are hello how are you for chicken thank you very much oh guys now that is something right here Let's see. Hello. For chicken? Yeah. Okay, I can try the tropical fruit one. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Nice. Very cool. Mm -hmm. All right. Welcome to your room, sir. Wow, thank you so much. That looks nice. And we even got the sea view, huh? Perfect. Wow. Yes. So, with the auto system and all, mm -hmm. you can use the tub also. Let's see. Okay guys, we checked into our hotel and you know during this Sri Lanka trip I wanted to do at least one video about kind of like luxury travel really show you in terms of hotel in terms of service how it is in Sri Lanka especially still to this day I hear some people talking about like hmm 
than sure if Sri Lanka is like a good place to travel to right now. And just when I arrived here, I realized in terms of traveling, in terms of coming and visiting, it's so good right now. And um, just being at this place, oh my goodness. So first of all, really nice ladies at the reception. I, I thought to just include this hotel in this video, but I think we're gonna do a full Gaul video, gonna explore later, and I'm gonna show you around the hotel separately. I mean, the room is super nice, super roomy. Guys, look at this view from here. It's absolutely unbelievable. They have a pool outside and the friendly lady at the reception told me that this is the only hotel in Gaul that is directly facing the fort here. So if you're curious to see a bit more about this incredible hotel, I think I'm gonna shoot the full experience. Maybe I'm gonna give you a little bit of a preview of it right now. Check it out, gonna do something like a how is luxury travel Sri Lanka 2023 type of video. This is the Le Grand Hotel. The room started around $100. All right, all right, guys. So here we are approaching the Gaul fort. And I have to tell you, so I knew the Hello. Portuguese pretty much. Hi. So then, how are you doing, man? I am alright. Good, good. Nice Gotta go, man. Thank you. All right. Alrighty guys, so we're entering the fortified old town. Just walk through the gate here. Check it out. So this is a little bit the map of what is going on. Yes, here we are walking in. Gonna be walking through all of that. Already have to tell you, it's really fascinating. So the thing is in the 16th century, the Portuguese rolled up here with a bunch of ships and um, yeah, set this up. So that was like, what is it, 1600, so many hundreds of years ago. Then, a little bit later, the Dutch East India Company rolls in, takes over. Dutch stay here for a while. Then the British take over from the Dutch. Seriously, the history of Sri Lanka is truly fascinating and we're gonna be walking a little bit through a bit of that. So this over here is the bank and I have to tell you, the whole vibe of the city is really different the moment you walk into the fort. And just from reading it up, even long before the 16th history, it was always a port city. So all kinds of different nations used to trade here, even like 1000 BC. Whew, wow, that is so far probably one of the most uh, impressive, let's say, colonial heritage sites I've seen in all of Asia, probably. So even got like an old car, I guess, somewhat for decoration as well. But you know, so far, okay, there's also in Russian, Restaurant for the Gaul, Gaul Fort Restaurant. You know, many, many like old forts and things like that, especially in Asia, very often they just feel like a little bit of a tourist attraction. But here, so far, it just seems like a real village. So let's walk around a little bit. Let's see if we can get onto the walls. So here we are right now approaching what we're seeing from the hotel all the time. The clock tower of Gaul. Hello. So the man selling some elephants there. Look at that. So good to know this is what we're seeing all the time. Hello. This is, oh wow, look at that. Let's go there. So this is what we're seeing pretty much all the time from the hotel. I actually thought it would be like, you know, you would have to pay an entrance to go up here but no this is the fort do not touch the cannons unless you're gonna shoot wow so yeah you pretty much can just walk in here stroll around as you wish this is where i've seen people all day long walking around and yeah so ah. we have conquered it here we are <laughs> no seriously guys just climbed up here a little bit so wow what I really love is it's extremely well preserved yet it's not like a museum or uh, let's say purely a tourist site there's local people walking all 
over here and as you see I just like climbed up from down there to not have to go the full loop so it really feels very let's say authentically maintained in the sense that you can just kind of like go about your day to day and it's just honestly I'm pretty fascinated by different empires over the years coming through here everybody stayed for a couple of years and then there's the question is like what happened how did the other people got here how did they took over what was going on within the different empires that they were weakened to the extent that then the territory has been occupied let's say by the dutch until like 18th century or something like that again by no means i'm an expert in these things but just to reflect a little bit on how these grounds have been occupied and colonized for such a long time and uh, yeah human history is a fascinating thing and so yeah just have to give them the props how well they maintain the place is beautiful seriously it's probably the nicest fort in asia definitely i've ever seen okay guys after another 10 minutes of walking around i have to tell you i'm blown away blown away in the sense of how authentic the place feels how spread out it is it's a real town like there's the guy sitting there i think he's praying it's mostly locals a couple of tourists and i was just thinking in some ways in terms of the authenticity it reminds me a little bit of uh, albania the only place where i've experienced this like let's say richness of just you can like dive into a previous world without everything being like barricaded and having signs around them and you cannot go here you cannot go there i'm pretty sure there's still people living here i think there's hotels here somebody's drying their laundry this is incredible seriously what we're doing right now is pretty much rounding up the fort by the walls we have got to pretty much the furthest point which is uh, the light tower here from 1938 so soon pushing 100 years let's see oh shit that'll be a bit tricky Oop, got that so here I have to say a good bit more people actually but yeah the more you kind of go down the livelier it gets lots of street vendors selling different things lots of different cafes so I think as a place to stay this also would be quite interesting especially if you're traveling everything i've walked so far in the radius of half an hour is just like absolutely out of let's say out of a movie not one house every single house in this old town wow and the clock tower is a vibe and it looks like we also ran into quite something of a public beach and i have to tell you that surprisingly even if just in just like a regular towns the water is pretty clear i mean it's not maldives but it's better than most beaches in thailand honestly thailand has great beaches but not all of them i'm here so far what's up man how you doing so how do i get down though that's the question now here oh shit oh there we go let's climb down here Up. okay guys and so we're walking in to the town truly truly a hot day you probably can see it in my face but yeah so this is how it looks here some houses on them have like numbers like 18 60 something 19 arabic college so yeah it's kind of like a mix of on the one side shops on the other side just people's homes and so we're coming out of the fort seriously i think tomorrow morning i might be popping in there again for a nice run i think in the morning when it's not as hot and uh, also what i've just saw is i think this is one of the most famous cricket stadiums in asia because it's right next to the fort some guys are playing there actually right now yeah let's go into a bit more of the busy town here and guys, I would say a little bit, just to give you somewhat of a contrast of this city. Let's go into what I would guess is the local town back there, just from the certain busyness that we're seeing. Let's see, it's red, but can I cross? 
Well, I am already. So the fort, obviously, it's very nice, very cleaned up, like beautiful shops, beautiful hotels, I gotta tell you. But back there, there's the real life. There's the busyness. I like it. There's these crazy buses. You know, in the Philippines, they have the very colorful jeepneys with like prints on them, different designs. Here, they go all in. They just make these buses all like a freaking party bus. So guys, this is a little bit the back of the train station. So pretty busy, got lots of shops, buses. Yeah, let's see. I actually could really use a top up on my phone. The data here is actually really good. Just ran out of my 50 gigabytes. Let's see, is there a supermarket here? Or let's see what we can find inside. Getting some data. Hello. How are you? So guys, after a long, sunny, sweaty walk, we're back at the happy place. So, this is where we just have been all this. Alrighty guys, well, well, this was Gaul. I have to tell you, I like the city a lot. Been here one day, everywhere I walk was kind of cool. Even the local area uh, behind the train station, just kind of like cool to have both sides. At the same time, I mean, you know, probably a little bit biased with this view. I've just been flying the bird once again and the other birds didn't like it too much. Uh, I don't know if you can cut in the, maybe I'll cut in the shot from that. And um, so Gaul, one of the most historical cities, you really feel it being on the ground. On the other hand, what I also like is that it's fairly reasonably chill because of how old the old town is. So many nice hotels, so many nice cafes. And yeah, amazing town. What I also like is that it has a lot of like real, let's say, infrastructure compared to the beach towns I have seen before. Um, not sure where I would stay longer, but I mean, let's say like that so far. My favorite place I've seen in Sri Lanka is this corner here, the whole old town, hotel next to it. It just feels really like you could be writing books about it, painting paintings, as corny as it sounds, but yeah. And so if you're new here, by any chance, my name is Dan, for the past six years, I mentioned it at every end of the video. I've been documenting my life around this vision, around this dream, around this, let's say, desire of more freedom more autonomy and um yeah in the last three years we started this channel been traveling the world full time pretty much now for five months usually staying for a couple of months in each place much more living around the world than just traveling check out all my other projects in the description box below this is the travel blog that we're doing and um yeah i have to say today was a charm filming it sometimes adventures are a bit intense Today, I don't know, beautiful, absolutely beautiful. Goodbye, goal. I'm sure it was not the last time. You got a world to see.